You know, we watch a lot of positions on this channel. We watch quarterbacks, running backs, linebackers, DBs, but there's one position that doesn't really get a lot of love on this channel. You know what position that is? Running backs. So, today's video is going to be on Jonathan Taylor. Yes, Jonathan Taylor, the running back for the Indianapolis Colts, the best running back in the league right now. He should be in the MVP conversation, but because running backs have such a short lifespan in the NFL, you don't know really how to grade them. So we are going to grade Jonathan Taylor. Welcome to Coach Phil Reacts 425. It's your boy, Coach Phil, and we are about to get right into it. So if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you hit that notification bell and hit the subscribe button. As well as don't be afraid to get into the comment section and give me any suggestions or videos I should react to. Also, like the video and share the video out so we can get the algorithm rolling on here. And without any further ado, let's get to it. And this is why I say our defense is ass booty juice because we can't tackle for shit. It's a close one and two between him and Derek Henry. I mean, Derrick Henry, this is Derrick Henry's first real injury, so hopefully he comes back healthy. He should play this weekend, I think. Oh my God. Sprinting up the sideline as the defense frantically gets to him. Finally, the defensive backs for Baltimore. Third and 15. Trying to get it out of the tail on the screen. And some of the yard is back. And get the first down. And rip it down. You've got to be kidding me. Wink, what are you calling it? Wink, why would you have all those DBs out there? Come on, Wink Martindale. You got to put at least a little bit of a run game in there. Come on, man. A run defense or something. I know you got injuries, Wink. God. Wink is the pitcher for Taylor. And he walks into the end zone for the touchdown. This is one of the most prolific college runners of the University of Wisconsin in NCAA history. Facts. Just watch his vision here. Watch how he cuts back. Looks like he's going to hit it. Taylor. Has the first down. Stays on his feet and has more. Trying to run away from Stevens and he does. CBS crew here for Blue Jay. If he takes this, I'm gonna reserve my comparison for Jonathan Taylor to the end of the video. Taylor breaking tackles sets up a first down and goal. Little jump around at the nose tackle position here, and beautifully read that time by Jonathan Taylor as DJ Jones made that move. He saw it and made us move. Seven, nine, six. Nice move right there. And you see this guy's going to be one of the best in the league. Give it to him. Too easy. Moves in untouched for the touchdown. Just the patience here as these double team blocks start to happen up front. And then it ends up coming all the way out the back door there. Good block on the outside. The NFL through the first seven weeks of the season. Holds begin from inside the road 20 weeks. To the air is Taylor. Shot out of the game. How about this for a drive starter? I like that. I like that. I like that. I like it. It's versatile. 
Frank Wright drawing it up. Both backs in there, hand off to Taylor. What a start for Taylor. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Football this morning, and he was the best at it, but that was impressive. Here's a screen for Taylor, coming off the touchdown. And a big catch and a run here. Right back to offense, go to Colts. Wow. Taylor's gone. Jonathan Taylor. Goodbye. Touchdown, Indy. Wow. As he crossed the tape at the goal line. Okay. So what have we learned from Jonathan Taylor? This is the closest thing we've had to Marshall Falk in the league, and not because he plays for the Colts, because Marshall Falk played for the Colts before he played for the Rams. Jonathan Taylor can do it all. He's The difference between him and Derrick Henry is Derrick Henry is a downhill runner. Derrick Henry is not catching the ball out the backfield like that. Derrick Henry is just way too big to be doing that. Derrick Henry is like O.J. Simpson. O.J. couldn't catch for shit. O.J. just give him the ball and let him run it 30 freaking times, and he's gone. And yes, I did reference O.J. Simpson. Don't hate me. We ain't talking about what happened in 94. So, with Jonathan Taylor, I love that he can catch the ball at the backfield. I love that he just he's a breakaway runner. He can run it downhill. He can do cutbacks. He also, you can run dives, draws, counters. You can run many whams. You can run many different things with him. I really don't see a flaw in his game. I really like what I see from him so far. I hope that they don't run him into the ground. They do with Le'Veon. John Taylor doesn't need about 420 carries, 380 carries. You keep him about 300 to 280, he's good. And that will keep longevity, give him longevity within his career. And hopefully he keeps us going, man, because he is man. him. Him and Derrick Henry are right there. Whoever stays healthy the most and keeps being productive, I see big things for both of them. But with Jonathan Taylor, man, he's, he's, he's kind of slipping up there a little more on Derrick Henry just because he's more versatile in their offensive game plan. Excuse me. Especially with Carson Wentz at quarterback and Frank Wright calling the plays. He's, he's being very creative with him in the backfield and how to use him, not just by running the ball, but within the passing game. So I, I like what I see from that. So we're going to end the video on that note right there. Make sure you keep your head on a swivel. Be safe in these be safe in these streets because Omicron is still out here. Keep wearing your mask and continue to be great. We are out of here. Bang. Nigga, why'd you sign Jamie Foxx? Is this a comedy album? Didn't he murder Travis?